hey y'all so welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time here welcome back to my youtube channel if you are returning um so long story short i'm already into filming um this video and um the content for this video and i forgot that I, to do an intro so um long story short i had this turkey in my freezer um, for about a month now it's taking up a lot of space and I'm trying to use this turkey to make different meals um, the whole turkey and I'm just gonna just like fast forward and get y'all right into the video so here are a few things that I bought actually this is all that I bought for um, these turkey meals I didn't pay too much attention to the price um, actually I'm always paying attention to the price but I didn't think of this as a spending budget challenge uh, more as a meals uh, budget challenge so I of course I got my pastas I got some cheese mixed vegetables I did have an idea of um, some of the meals that I wanted to make and uh, I just picked up items that I thought would go well with those um, So here's my turkey. It's not a really pretty turkey. This is not my presentation uh, Thanksgiving turkey. I just cooked this turkey for um, Just to harvest the meat off of it, but my Thanksgiving turkey looks much better than this trust me my first two dishes are pastas so i went right in and i made my pasta um, i'm going with a rotini for one dish and a penne i know i love my penne for uh, my second dish this is how much meat i actually got off of the turkey so i just put it all in a big big pan my big pan of turkey meat so my first meal that i made was a chicken uh i'm sorry turkey pasta a creamy turkey pasta i used that can of prima chicken soup with the penne and you just mix it all up it's season it however you want to that's what i did and it this is really good so this is my creamy turkey pasta my creamy turkey pasta and for my next dish i just went with a traditional casserole um with the rotini the turkey this is mostly white meat so this is meat from the breast uh shredded up some cheese i have my cheeses in there i just mixed that all together and this meal i actually uh went straight in the freezer i did add some broccoli in there but this went straight into the freezer we did not eat this yet i had a whole carcass a turkey carcass so you can see i roast my turkeys with some veggies and my third a meal if you will was bone broth so um i made some turkey bone broth and i got all of these containers turkey bone broth has a, a bone broth period has a lot of nutrients is really good for you and i did count that as one of my meals you cannot go wrong with a soup so my number four meal was a turkey soup I had some potatoes left over um, from a, a different meal and I just threw those in there as well and listen soup is really easy you just store everything in there that's actually half of the pack of mixed vegetables that I bought from Aldi for um, this challenge and you just can't go wrong with soup you also can't go wrong with chili for my number five um, meal and this was actually the fan favorite in my house i always use black beans and corn in my chili and i decided to uh, brown the turkey uh, to simulate a ground turkey um, for this recipe and it came out absolutely delicious we just kept eating this and eating this and eating this and also got a, two bonus uh, lunches out of this uh, turkey chili Meal six and seven are totally dedicated to the white meat. I love turkey breast. And so I went with a turkey salad. And this was a new recipe for me. I did these turkey uh, buffalo sliders. And uh, I just uh, seasoned up the, the white meat, the turkey breast, put in a pan. I had some spicy hot uh, chili sauce. And I used those Hawaiian rolls that I got from Aldi. And I just built um i just built these sliders and this actually when it was coming together i was really surprised i didn't know how this was gonna come out or turn out um but i only put cheese on half because some people are not fans of cheese in my household 
Um, so I have to accommodate everybody. I added some um, some seasoned garlic butter on top and I just popped these in the oven. And they came out really, really good. And they were actually filling. I had one and I was like really almost uh, full. Um, so these buffalo turkey sliders were also a hit um, with my family and of course this is just a classic turkey salad which is my favorite i think i ate all of this turkey salad um just like this on a cracker um for like two days this is my personal favorite and it is at this point where i am completely and utterly over this turkey I mean, I must have whipped this thing up in like 20 minutes, I'm telling you. I had some turkey breast, um, some mixed vegetables, some biscuits, and I just threw it all in a pan. I chopped these biscuits up and I'm like, listen, I'm just going for turkey and dumplings. This is my first time making this. And this is another dish that we absolutely could not eat at that moment. So it is in my freezer. But I think they came out looking really good. Hopefully it freezes well. So when I'm ready to thaw this out, um, it tastes good. But this is turkey and dumplings. And it's just, this just went right in the freezer um, just like that. And please believe me when I tell you that the turkey chili was absolutely hitting. This is me enjoying it at my desk for lunch. So in full transparency, I was completely overwhelmed by the amount of meat that I had to work with on that turkey. You know, for Thanksgiving, you cook a turkey. Well, I mainly only make a whole turkey on Thanksgiving. And, you know, it's a lot of people. People take turkey home with them. And then you're left with a limited amount of leftovers. Um, but this whole turkey, there was so much meat on the turkey. And it was a certain point where I was just like, I am done <laughs> with this turkey. So I set out to make eight different things. I definitely could have made more. Um, but I was just sick of the turkey. And so I wanted to get it out of my freezer. And then I wanted to get the turkey out of my life. And I think the turkey actually had the last laugh. Because the turkey is still in my freezer. I still have two whole pans of uh, turkey casserole and a turkey and dumplings. And I still have a whole turkey thigh and a turkey leg. Like literally still in my freezer. I would show you. But I don't want to look at the turkey. We are all turkeyed out. So, if anybody needs uh, a turkey dinner, please uh, send me an email. You can come and get the turkey dinner. Actually, let's see what we have in here. So, this is the leftover turkey that I had that I didn't use. So, there's a whole turkey thigh, the leg. There's some random pieces in there as well. This is the turkey pasta. This is the turkey and dumplings. And... I still have a couple of these, which is the turkey bone broth that I made with the turkey carcass. So as you can see, like there's a lot left over. So a whole turkey is absolutely a great way to put like meals on the table. Um, I hope, you know, I've showed you a couple ways to do those, a couple creative ways, nutritionist ways, um, um, healthy ways. And even though like I am sick of this turkey, it was a great way to, it is a great way to feed your family. So that being said, if anybody is in the New York City area and you're struggling with food insecurity, or you know someone who is struggling with food insecurity, I will leave some links below to different food banks and different resources um, where people can go to get assistance. Um, because, uh, you know, like I said, food insecurity is a real thing. And it is my hope that I can bring some awareness to this issue and then try to take away some of the stigma and the shame that people experience when they are struggling to feed their family. Thank you for hanging in there with me on my turkey journey. I hope you have subscribed and hit the like button. Please leave me some comments. Let me know um, what you think about the recipes, what you think about using these turkey, this turkey in these different ways. And stay with me, y'all. And I will see y'all next time when 
I will be doing something. I'm really sick of this turkey. I'm sick of this turkey.